What's up guys? Today I'm gonna make a baseball bat made of big league chew bubble gum. First I went to the store and got a baseball bat. For this I'm using a classic Louisville slugger. Next I brought it back to my studio to make sure it was home run certified. And it was. Okay, we gotta make this as glossy as possible. So I'm using triple thick gloss glaze on this entire bat. And I did about three layers around the entire thing, letting it dry between each layer. Once it was fully dried, it was time to make our mold box using some foam core that I got from the dollar store. And it works great for making silicone molds. Once that was done, I took some clay and lined it across the entire top of the bat. This is gonna be our pouring spout, but it's also gonna level out the bat inside of the mold. Once that was done, I popped it into the foam core molding box, making sure there's about an inch around the entire bat. Now it's time for the silicone. Silicone is one of the most expensive materials that I'm using here. So I'm gonna recycle an old silicone mold and slice it off into little chunks. Then I take those pieces and put them inside of the box. This is gonna help fill the void between our bat and the edge of the box. I mentioned it was expensive. This is about a $350 box of silicone and we needed one and a half of these, but it's super easy to work with. It's a one for one mix. So whatever I pour of part A, which is this blue stuff, I match the same amount with part B, which is this white stuff. And then you mix it up so it's one solid color. This stuff will cure in 45 minutes. So there's not much room for error, but it allows me to get the mold done in one single day. I then went ahead and poured it on top of the bat. Now every camera angle change you see here is another full bucket of silicone. In total, it was over $400 just for the mold, not including the resin. Forty-five minutes later, it was time to demold the silicone from the foam core. And then we cut out the top where the pouring spout was, removing the clay as well. This is always such a tough part, removing the object from the silicone, just because it's airtight. And as you can see, I'm struggling pretty hard, but I eventually got it. Now it's time for the resin. For a lot of these art pieces, I like to use Total Boat Thick Set Fathom. This is a two to one mix, and its viscosity is like water, but can also pour in thick layers without burning itself. So I went ahead and mixed two parts of A to one part of part B. And you can already start to see how watery this resin is. It is the best stuff if you don't want to have any air bubbles. But for added measure, I'm running it through my vacuum chamber. Now it's time for the Big League Chew. Now if you've never seen this stuff, it's meant to replicate chewing tobacco. It's been around for ages, and it's basically just shredded bubble gum resembling chewing tobacco. I then went through a couple packs, just separating the strands so they're all individual. Next, I poured a small layer of our resin inside the mold, making sure it was coated around the entire bat. Now it's time to load in the Big League Chew. It sort of felt like I was making a sub or something. Now the way I did this was I did one layer of resin, another layer of Big League Chew, and then I poured another thin layer of resin. Now since Total Boat Fathom is very watery, the bubble gum's actually gonna absorb it, making it even stronger. But by doing it in layers like this, it allows any potential air bubbles to escape early on. thing about using Total Boat Fathom is that because it's watery, it takes three days minimum to cure. So three days later, I came back to check on it. And again, I had to struggle with removing the piece from the mold. I'm pretty much on top of the thing right now. I eventually got it. And this is always the best part, seeing it for the first time. I love it. It's a feeling like no other. But now it's time to get rid of that pouring spout. So I started by using a jigsaw to remove this, but the guides on this wouldn't let me get close. So then I moved over to sanding and quickly realized this was gonna take forever. So then I knew I had to do it by hand with a saw, which was exhausting. I was sweating buckets and thought there's no way I could do this. So I'm like, let's just go back to sanding and take the time. But I got to use my dumpster find machine, which has been amazing so far. This took just over two hours of pure sanding. And then of course I polished it up at the end, which resulted in a baseball bat made of big league chew. I love how it looks, the bright pink color and the cool design on the inside. Here it is beside the original bat I molded. It even has the wood grain texture if you look close enough. And yes, it is home run certified. <laughs> I'm sorry. Be sure to like and follow for more fun DIYs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.